Good morning, this is Pastor Jeff, and this is our daily lectionary readings for Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. With it being Wednesday, we are still reflecting back on what happened at church on Sunday, and we still are resting in Psalm 119, 9 through 16 for our psalm reading. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of Haggai, chapter 2, verses 1 through 9, and then verses 20 to 23. And then our New Testament reading comes from the Gospel. Our New Testament reading comes from the Gospel of John, chapter twelve, verses thirty-four through fifty. And today we are going to be reading this out of the Modern English Version, Psalm one nineteen. How shall a young man keep his way pure? By keeping it according to your word, with my whole heart. I seek you. Do not allow me to wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all of the decrees of your mouth. I rejoice in the way of your testimonies, as much as in all of the riches. I will meditate on your precepts. And keep my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statues, and I will not forget your word. The Old Testament reading is split. The first part comes from Haggai chapter 2, verses 1 through 9. In the seventh month, on the 21st day of the month, the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet, saying, Speak now to Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, the governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehoshadak, the high priest, and to all the remnants of the people, saying, Who is left among you who saw this in the house in the former glory? How do you see it now? Is it not in the eyes or nothing in comparison? Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and be strong. O Joshua, son of Jehoshaphat, the high priest. Be strong, all you people of the land, says the Lord. Work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts, according to the covenant that I made with you when you came out of Egypt. So my spirit remains among you. Do not fear. For thus says the Lord of the hosts, once more in a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. And I will shake all the nations, and they will come with the wealth of all nations. And I will fill the house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house will be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place... I will give peace, says the Lord of hosts. We then pick it up in verse 20 through 23. The word of the Lord came a second time to Haggai on the 24th day of the month. Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth. I will overthrow the thrones of the kingdom. I will destroy the strength of the kingdom of the nation. I will overthrow the chariots and the riders. The horses and the riders will come down, every one by the sword of its brother. On that day, says the Lord of hosts, I will take you, O Zerubbabel, my servant, the son of Shotel, says the Lord, and I will make you like a sinet ring, for I have chosen you, says the Lord of the hosts. Our New Testament reading comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verses 34 through 50. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Christ remains forever. What do you say the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? Then Jesus said to them, Yet a little while the light is with you. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. He who walks in the darkness does not know where he is going. While you have light, believe in the light, and you may become sons of light. 
Jesus said these things and departed and hid himself from them. Though he had done so many signs before them, yet they did not believe in him. Thus fulfilled the word spoken by Isaiah the prophet, Lord, who has believed our report, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed. Therefore they could not believe. For Isaiah said again, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, lest they should see with their eyes and perceive with their hearts and turn. I would heal them. Isaiah said this when he saw his glory and spoke of him. Yet many of the rulers also believed in him, but because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they were put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. And Jesus cried out, He who believes in me, believes not only in me, but in him who sent me. He who sees me, sent me. I have come as a light into the world, that whoever believes in me should not remain in darkness. If anyone hears my word and does not believe, I do not judge him. For I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and does not receive my words has that which judges him. The word I have spoken will judge him on the last day. For I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me gave a command. What I should say that I should speak. I know that his command is eternal life. Therefore, what I say, I say as the Father tells me. And here ends our readings for the day.